When I was at school, we never were allowed to differentiate um, straight away using the rules. We had to first and first principles. So I'm going to teach you guys the same way. First principle, step one, you have to find f of x plus h. And in this case, x plus h squared, I'm going to expand that really fast using the binomial expansion. Step two, you want to work out what is f of x plus h take away f of x. Well, I'm assuming here that f of x is equal to x squared, so I'm going to take my previous expression for f of x plus h, and I'm going to subtract f of x, which is x squared, which means this and this is going to cancel out, and I'm going to be left with 2xh plus h squared. Step three, I'm going to do f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So I'm going to take this expression and I'm going to divide by h. I like to split it up first. Oh, I've got my h squared there, which is going to leave me 2x plus h. Step four, I'm going to take the limit of that whole expression which is taking the limit as h tends to 0 of 2x plus h. Now, 2x doesn't depend on h. So, for example, if I was taking the limit as h tends to 0 of 2x, it's just going to be 2x. It's not changing. But if h gets really, really small, that is going to change to 0 here. So, the answer to my limit is going to be 2x. Let's have a look at another example. Pretty similar example, but now you've got cubed. So step one, you want to work out f of x plus h. So you need to work out x plus h cubed. And again, binomial expansion is your really good friend in this case here. So I know my binomial coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. I'm going to decrease my power of x, x cubed, x squared x, that would be x0, so I'm not going to write it down. I'm going to increase my h's, h0, which is just 1, h1, h2, h3. I'm going to, in step 2, subtract f of x from that expression. And that and that will cancel, and I'll be left with 3x squared h minus 3xh squared plus h cubed. I'm going to divide that expression by h, which is going to be 3x squared, that's going to be independent of h, which is important, minus 3x times by h plus h squared. Now I'm going to take the limit of that expression as h tends to 0. So if h is really small, very, like imagine it's 0 0.0000001, or even smaller than that. This would make this really, really small, or 10 to 0, and this one too. So the limit here is just 3x squared, which isn't affected as h gets really, really small. So the derivative at any point, the gradient of the curve y equals x cubed is always 3x squared. So for example, if I want to know the gradient of the curve, of the tangent curve when x equals to 1, if the curve is x cubed, the gradient should be dy dx equals 3 times 1 squared equals 3 times 1 equals 3. So the gradient when x is equal to 1 will be equal to 3. So I've shown you two basic examples about how we can use binomial expansion to help us find the derivative using first principles, but in the next video I'm going to look at a couple more tricky examples with 1 over x and square root functions, a little bit more tricky. I hope you stick around and watch that too.